Dursingham School is in the London borough of Newham. 86% of its pupils speak English as an additional language. The school is committed to integrating language development, science and the environment. Christine Heffernan is science coordinator. This programme follows a scheme of work for Key Stage 1 children, integrating the science of pushing and pulling, language development and environmental awareness across the whole day. Christine plans first to test the concepts of pushing and pulling in the classroom using toys and wooden rollers, then reinforce the children's understanding in small groups in the playground, and finally reinforce the concepts within story time at the end of the day. Bringing the, the outside in is, is what we like to do in science in, in Dursingham. If you ask a child what is a scientist, they will, they will probably draw you a man in a white coat. They don't look at our subjects of pushing and pulling, of colour and light. They don't see that as a scientific subject. I think it's easy at infant stage to bring all this into it and tell them that it's science and get their enthusiasm going, basically and, you know, try and keep the enthusiasm up, but keep it practical. It's the enthusiasm of the world around them and it's all the scientific things within it. My passion is, is the environment and the gardens and it, it, it's important to me and it's important to the rest of the teachers as well. And through science, we can do that. It's a very exciting day today. We've got a science day today and we're going to be talking about pushing and pulling. We start with any subject we'll start with what the children know um, and we'll get them to talk about their experiences first and then build on it. What do you think you might have to push or pull? <coughs> push that wheelbarrow. You might have to push that wheelbarrow. Why would you push the wheelbarrow? Because it has one wheel and it has something to pick up that and then you walk with it and then you push it. Absolutely brilliant. Yes. So you might push the wheelbarrow. We, d we use lots and lots of practical toys, basically toys that the children can relate to. Um, simple ones that the teachers have brought in, just like this, you have to push the head and it rolls along, which the, all the children love, even the girls and boys, it's not gender oriented. With the, the dog, you have to push the buttons for it to move. And again, with them using it and with it being a child's toy, they get to know the terms pushing and pulling. What are you doing to that button? <laughs> You're pressing the button, okay. You're pushing that button down with your thumb, aren't you? Thank you, Gukin, and go and sit down. I just think that the Key Stage 1 science is very practical. It needs to be practical, especially with the EAL children. If they, if they can't see what you're doing, they won't understand the way that you're talking about it, basically. It's the speaking and listening and the questioning that the children need to expand. They're just little, they're, they're new children to the country, so they will say just push and pull to begin with, but we will eventually um, bring on the language and they will speak in sentences. Pull it back. You pull the handle to get the spray out. No. I want you to think of a way to move the bucket using all these things down here. Think of a way to move it really easily. You might have to push it, you might have to pull it, but I don't want you to lift it. Right, Sadia has got a good idea, Mishba. Sadia, can you tell everybody what your idea is? Christine sets out first to encourage the children to use the words, then have ideas to put the concepts into action and finally evaluate the results. Push it down. OK, Sadia, did you mean the stick with the straight edges or the stick with the round edges, the curved edges? Which stick? This one. You wanted the straight edge stick. Right, that's fine. I know Michael's got an idea. Would you like to explain your idea, please, Michael, to everybody, because everybody's listening really carefully. You get one of these round sticks yeah. and you put it on the... the then 
then you roll it. Good idea. Just let, let's listen to Irina's idea. What was your idea? Um, you can use one of these <laughs> and put it over here and you can pick it up. Fantastic. So we have got three really, really good ideas. So we've got a very, very heavy bucket of compost here. Sadia wants to move it with these three sticks. Sadia, put your sticks down and then we'll put the bucket of compost on top of it. Is that where you want your sticks, Sadia? Like that? Are you sure? You don't want a space in between? No? OK. Sadia's put the bucket on top of her three sticks and we're going to lift the sticks, Sadia. One, two, three, and lift. There we go. It has lifted the compost, but Sadia, is it very safe? It's not very safe because, Anita, it may fall over. Example number two is Michael. Michael, bring your sticks into the circle, Michael. Bring it into the middle. OK, right. So if I hold the bucket, could you put the, the sticks in place, yeah? OK. I'm going to lift it up. Are you ready? Because I don't want to hurt my back. There we go. I'm lifting the bucket. Then put it down. Put it on top of the sticks, right. Now what are you going to do? Oh! Ooh. What happened, Michael? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> it fell off. That was experiment number two. Irina. We've got three poles here, Irina. This is experiment number three. Are you going to pull the sticks? I see. Is that very easy, Irina? If you were doing it outside, do you think it would be very easy? No, it might not be very easy. OK. I'm going to put these sticks like this. What do you think I'm going to do now? Just put the compost bucket uh, <laughs> Bucket, yeah. Here. Yeah? Then we Roll it. You know what, Sadia? I think that's just what we're going to do. Shall we try it? Yeah. Yeah, OK. I'm going to push the bucket. I'm going to push the bucket. And it's moving really easily. What am I going to do now, Anita? Go on, Anita. You show me what to do. Good girl, Anita. Fantastic. Now what do I do, Anita? Run it. Push it. Push it. I'm pushing it. What am I doing, Mishpa? Push it. I'm pushing it. Miriam, what am I doing? What am I doing, Miriam? I'm pushing the bucket all the way to the compost bin. Thank you, Anita. Christine leaves the rest of the children with support teachers in the classroom and takes a small group into the playground to extend the lesson. When I took on the science post, which was about three years ago, the scheme of work was very, very good, and it still is. I mean, anybody could pick it up and, and use it. But I wanted to bring in the environmental aspect of the gardening and recycling and reusing um, plastics and all the rest of it. What's on the top, Zayed? The button. Mm. The button. What do you have to do to the button? You have to press it. You have to I press know, it. I so are you pushing it or are you pulling it? Pushing, pushing it. it. You're pushing it and lifting. Thank you, Zayed. That will go into the soil with the worms as well. So we need to pour it very gently, Miriam, because there's an awful lot in there. Just gently. Okay. There we go. Can you see? Yeah. Oh, not with your hands, Miriam. Just gently shake it. <laughs> <laughs> right, Miriam, can you take the bucket? Yeah. We've got a challenge, haven't we? Yes. Remember what we did in the classroom? Yeah. What did we do in the classroom? We rolled. Why did we roll it? Because, because it was. Because it was. I'm not so heavy. It was so, so heavy, heavy. We couldn't carry it. So I think it might be nice if Stephen gets in it. Do you think Stephen could get in it? No. And shall we see if we can move him? Yeah. Okay, right. In the bucket. Yeah. Don't push it just now. Hold it nice yeah. and steady. Nice and steady. Yeah. Stephen's gonna get down. No Hold way. It. I'm safe. Gently, slowly. Keep going. Yeah. There we go. Christine is very aware that language development plays a key part in science at this level. In infant school, with so many EAL children, the language is important, but it, I don't think it's as important as them actually doing it. They may just come out with one word. They may, if they just come out with push or pull, then that's fair enough. But we, we do encourage them to say things in sentences. But scientific language is important, but I'm not so sure that it's as important at this stage. 
Dursingham School supports language development in the classroom using teaching assistants and the EAL coordinator. When we push things, there's a force that pushes things away from us. And when we use the force to pull things, where does it come? Does it go away from us or does it come towards us? When you pull towards you. Well done. When Lara first came to the school, she was English as an additional language support, EAL support. Um, she was given time out of class to arrange and organise lots and lots of games, EAL games. Um, without these games, the, the children wouldn't access the curriculum as well. But she hasn't just done it for science, she's done it for each and every curriculum subject. I said push and pull is a force because it can change direction or change the shape. Safia, what you're going to be doing this morning is changing the shape of your plasticine. We do try and um, do the cross-curricular thing with most subjects. You might cross art with science, you might cross English with science. So we take bits from each and every curriculum subject and we bring it all together. Rollers push. Don't we? So could you finish off making the tail for us? There you go, let's make you've got the tail. What force are you using then? What pulling you it out. You're pulling it out, good girl. So Kevin, see if you can pull it. I don't know if it's going to work. Keep going, keep going. Push those pedals, Kevin. What we're going to do, Muna, we've got a lovely story to read. The title's The Enormous Watermelon. And what's it about, Sadia? Pulling. It's about pulling, and that's what we've been working on all day. The watermelon. And could you read this page with me now? She pulled and pulled and pulled. Oh, the watermelon's gone. Well done. Thank you very much. Bye-bye, Mishma. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow, Lutva. Um, I think the lesson was quite successful. Very successful, in fact. I think all the children knew the words push and pull. And even if they couldn't put it into a sentence, they knew the words push and pull. They do take it home with them. They'll go home and they'll talk about the pushing their buggies, their little brothers and their little sisters. They'll talk about opening the doors and pushing the taps and all the rest of it. So yeah, they do take it home with them. At infant stage, they, their enthusiasm is, is fired. They, they're here, they want to learn. You know, they, they're little kids and they're here and you're the teacher and they love you and they want, they want you to teach them. And to see their faces light up and they're learning at the same time, that's what I enjoy. It's been a lovely day. It's a great subject to teach. I am exhausted, but it has been a lovely day. And I think the kids have enjoyed it. Have you enjoyed it, Kaina? Yeah. Ricardo? Nice experience. Is it a good day? Yeah. yeah. Isn't it? Marvellous experience for you. When you watch EastEnders of Coronation <laughs> Street, you know what they have to go through. They have to say it again and again and again and again. And you say, I've been there. <laughs> been there, I've done it. I've made a film, you can That's say. It's exciting, isn't it? It's very it is. It's just, he is impressed, isn't he?